Well, one of the things when I installed the uh, LED turn signals, I thought I was changing parking lights, and uh, but they're not. You turn them on, the, uh, the four ways looked okay, and I knew there might be a problem, but I was only doing the front ones, and I thought I was doing the parking lights anyway. <laughs> so, uh, turns out though, you see how fast that goes in the front? The right turn signal is way too fast, way too fast. The left signal is not that bad, but uh, what it requires is an electronic um, turn signal switch. So uh, we'll go ahead and put that bad boy in there right now. Well, here's the uh, electronic switch. I don't know if you can see the part number on there, it looks like, well, I'll tell you what it is. I could barely read it myself. But yeah, you probably see it on the screen, no problem. And what I like doing is I put a little electromotive um, grease on the contacts, even though it's inside. Make sure it slips in there a little easier, it'll come out a little easier, and there'll be no corrosion. Electromotive grease, which is stuff I had forever because it's such a big tube. Yeah. Dielectric grease, or whatever you want to call it. Just a little bit. You only need a little bit. Come on, baby. There it is. Just something on there to keep the corrosion down, just in case there is corrosion. And also, it'll snap in there easier and come out easier. And where this thing is, you can see there's a gas pedal. I don't know if it's on the same side. I got a right hand drive, so so maybe it's on the maybe it's on the left side. On the uh, it's probably on the gas pedal side, wherever the hell it is. You know, um, I got a right hand drive, but there's the fuse box right here, and right above it, right above the fuse box where my hand is. You can't see it because I got this brake thing in front of me. That good. There it is. It's uh, it unsnaps. There's a little couple little clips on each side. Yeah. There's a couple little clips. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Thing on the top. There's a couple little clips that grip right here, which don't grip on the new one. <laughs> anyway, we'll put that in there. Okay, it's installed. You can see it's nice and slow. Bop, bop, bop. That's the electronic thing. So it works fine. Works fine. Check the other side. Sounds right to me. That's cool. Yeah, just watch when you're taking out the original one. Um, double check my flashers. Yeah, they're cool. So that's a little bit brighter. I gotta change. I'm gonna probably put some uh, LEDs in the front. I'll put this in my uh, Suzuki toolbox. If you, it's ja that's for Japanese vehicles only. These three prong ones. If you got an American, it's a, it's a four prong. You might have to wire something in there. I don't know. Maybe you got to get a different part. These are for Japanese vehicles. These ones are three prongs. The stock one. You got a couple clips that grip around it right here. That replacement just pushes in there. So, there you go. That's something you need to have if you put LED lights in. So if you're putting an aftermarket bumper in and you are um, using LED lights instead of the stock lights, the LED lights are usually cheaper than putting in stock lights anyway. Uh, plus they're less, they're brighter and take less, less power. Uh, you'll have to change this to one of these electronic flashers. The cool thing is, it used to be where you had to wire these things in here. Now it's just plug and play. But a three prong, again, a three prong is Japanese vehicles only. So this is only for like samurais and Japanese vehicles. What do you say, Rocky? Hmm? Hmm? Meow? Hmm? See? What's that? A light? Mm -hmm. It's not shining in your face. It's indirect. <laughs> That's shining in your face. 
right?